Hi guys, in this episode of Plumbing Playthrough, I'm gonna be starting my playthrough of Telltale's The Walking Dead's third season, A New Frontier. And I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, before we get into this, I'm actually recording the first two episodes playthrough for a second time. The reason why being that for whatever reason, this season does not want to recognize or does not quite exactly recognize my choices from season 2 and I don't know why and I'm gonna even show you right now to see what, you, what I'm talking about when I go into the episodes and go for continuing my story and I try to import save 1 this is what happens AJ, Kenny and Clem continued on to Wellington where Clem learned Kenny would not be allowed in so they left Wellington together and if you watched my previous episode aka the finale of season 2, of season two you'll know that that's not the choice I made. I made the choice to go to Wellington with Kenny, yes, but I chose to stay because that's the only choice or at least one of two choices which allow Kenny to survive, possibly at least. And I even played through the first two episodes and that's the choice that it was and I thought it wasn't but you can even see in the picture here that clearly it shows that Clementine goes to Wellington while Kenny leaves. So why the fuck does it say that then? And I don't understand why it says that. I don't. I play through it and the text is correct, not the picture. But why the hell does it show me the correct picture if it's not the correct text? So what we're gonna have to do to get into uh, the right choices and the right story, uh, we're gonna have to recreate uh, the story which is fine honestly because at the end of the day how many choices from season 2 actually matter to the story I doubt some little choices would really affect that shit um, uh, so I'm just gonna recreate the story I mean even in season 4 you uh, in season 4 you have to actually there recreate the story you don't have the choice to uh, import your choices so I don't think it really matters at the end of the day so I'm gonna go with this because I've played through the alternative and I don't know any other way how I could possibly get the choice that I made at season 2 to actually be the choices, uh, the choice that I'm playing through going forward. Because I just really don't like the possibility of Kenny dying. That's not my playthrough. I don't want to. And I can even show you the excerpt of uh, the flashback scene from season 1 in which I was mad that this is actually the choice the game thought I made. I was super mad that I had to watch a uh, Kenny die. So yeah, watch, uh, watch that assert now before we get into uh, the actual episode. So yeah, um, let's get into the first episode. I guess let's just go and recreate my story. In The Walking Dead season one, Clementine met Lee after she lost her family and home. He protected Clem and taught her the importance of community. The only hope people have for the future is to help each other. Justice, without a code, how can you trust anyone? Survival, even a child should be able to defend herself from danger. Self-reliance, in the end, the only one you can count on is yourself. I think I would go with, with survival because that's the one thing that I remember Lee teaching her. That even a child should be able to defend herself from danger. Clem and Lee travel to Savannah where Lee sacrificed himself to save her. As he lay dying, Lee begged Clem to... Leave him to turn, a bullet might have been the most merciful but Clem couldn't bring herself to shoot her friend and uh, although Lee was all Clem had left in the world she summoned her resolve and ended his suffering. Shoot him. Definitely shoot him. After Lee's death Clem found more survivors, people who helped her such as Kenny. Kenny never gave up, his endless determination helped keep Clementine alive. Luke. Luke always had a smile for, uh, for Clementine no matter what his kindness persevered. And Jane. Jane showed Clementine that she had to make hard choices to put her own safety first. I'll go with Kenny. Kenny never gave up. Clementine remembered the joy she felt when she was reunited with Kenny. He showed her that survival depended on honesty. Even when it didn't help him, Kenny was honest. He always let you know where he stood. Determination. Never surrender, no matter what the odds. Family. Family isn't always blood, but it's the reason you keep going. I'll go with determination because it seems that that's the thing that Kenny loves the most. Determination. 
Thanks to her companions, Clem's journey ultimately led her to... How is hardware? Nope. Wellington. Yes. Traveling low. No. So we're gonna go with Wellington. At Wellington, the community would not allow Kenny in. Clem decided to enter Wellington. Clem made the tough choices to stay in Wellington without Kenny, it was best for AJ, she told herself. Leave with Kenny. Clem refused to enter without Kenny, they had been through far too much together. Like I said in my previous uh, episode, that was my original choice actually, leaving with Kenny. That's what I chose on my, well actually not on my first first playthrough. But once I got to Wellington with Kenny, that's the choice that I made. I think in my original playthrough I actually ended up killing Kenny. Because I was very easily brainwashed by Jane, but what can you do? But yeah, I'm gonna be entering Wellington. Clem learned the hard way that survival depended on resources, food, water, ammo. Without them, survival is impossible. People, things can be replaced. People can't. I'll go with people. It never got any easier. Clem remembers how she stopped AJ's dead mother from biting him during an ambush, but drawing her gun risked angering the attackers. Clem chose to... Shoot. Greater good. In season 2, Clementine showed loyalty to friends and family, even in the most desperate situations. Clem watched Jane provoke a fight with Kenny that ended in Jane's death. AJ, Kenny, and Clem continued on to Wellington, where Clem learned Kenny would not be allowed in. Clem said goodbye to Kenny through tears. Okay. We're going with this. We good? Let's go. I don't think it really matters too much in the end, anyway. If the choices from uh, Season 1, 2 and 3 don't really have even a way to be imported in Season 4, I don't think it matters. Okay, let's start Episode 1 again. Yeah, I'm gonna be finishing the whole season today, honestly, in terms of recording. It's only gonna be in one sitting, because I have some uh, stuff to do during the day, but now I'm gonna be recording Episode 1 and 2 in one sitting and maybe three if I have the time um, and then uh, later on I'm gonna be finishing off four and five hey it's time get over here all right I'll, uh, I'll start packing up now Hobby you need to hurry look I'm not giving you shit okay I'm look just... I'm not giving you shit while I'm just when Dad was sick, okay? giving you shit Leave my car. It's traffic. It's backed up for miles. He's dead. No, no, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that. No, you're the piece one of shit, time, David. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried. You fucking tried. Oh, fuck you, David. Who the fuck do you think you are? Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? What does it concern you? Around him. People who love him all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. Fuck you, David. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad, too. All right? I mean, you're not... You're not the only one dealing with this. And what a fine son you turned out to be. You don't have the right, asshole. Oh, why, why are you fighting? Because your dad is a bully. I yeah. could hear you from inside. It's okay, Gabe. Your dad's just a bit of a bully is all. Don't. Uncle Javi's just joking. Oh, nothing pisses me off me home. We'll be in in a minute. Uh, more than adult bully assholes like it's David okay. who lie to their kids when they're being assholes. 
to somebody that their kids love. That is some bullshit. You think the kids are stupid, David? <clears throat> Fuck off. I got it. I should call someone, pick up the body. Oh, now you give yeah. me shit to drink, huh? I love you, little brother. You have you know a really I... funny way of showing it. With everything going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Well, you got a pretty funny way of showing it. Okay, I'm gonna admit for uh, the dialogue options that I'm picking right now, and I'm saying them before I'm picking them. No, I, don't think I actually anything. said them originally in my original recording, and I have well, proof if you want to see. But uh, I, th I, th I think it's just you funny to mention them like that have. and make my play a replay good can uh, all to this. be as close as to the previous re to replay as I can do it. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not, Not staying. Anymore. Sorry. I've got my own life. I'll be here for the funeral. And then I'm gone. Then that's that. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I was trying to calm Jesus Christ this fucking family. I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. Yeah, that's life. I don't like it, but that's life. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. I really like the cinematic look in this part. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. I gotta say, I kind of don't understand, both understand and don't understand why parents would lie to their child when a relative is dying. Because, like, when I was very young, like six years old young, I lost my great-grandmother. And I cried my eyes out when that happened. I was still kind of young to understand, but that was also the thing because I wasn't young enough, uh, old enough to understand exactly what death is. I was super scared for her, also because back then it was instilled uh, in me all those all those Christian beliefs were instilled in me. So I thought maybe she was like going to hell or whatever, and that's the part that kind of creeped me the hell up. How is this possible? Jesus, that is really uh, made uh, in a very horror way. I like it. I'm gonna continue my uh, story in a bit. I don't think he's just confused. Oh, 
Hey, you killed Gamer! Help me! Help him! David! I'm sorry, Papa! We need to go. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, the that scared me, Keys and I cried my eyes out when a relative of mine died. But then when I was a little older, at about like 8 or 9, Mama, uh, my cousins the lost their dad. The and yeah, probably the fact that I didn't really have any kind of close relationship to him did, is the reason why it didn't hit me much. I literally j figured I it out on my own that Mariana, he died. Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Nobody told on, me, and I even asked uh, my grandma as she was oh, walking no, by no. me, Hey, did their dad die? Um, uh, no. And they said, yeah, but don't no. tell them. It's okay. No. It's okay. And County guess General what I, I did? I, know the way. I told them, but not right at the same time. I think a day later or so, and I didn't tell them. I, I tell them in a good way, and they are actually uh, were actually glad that I told them that he didn't hit it from them. So, it's all good. But around that time, I didn't cry. I didn't even, I guess, feel it that much. But again, I'd rather one deal with that shit as a child and understand it and learn it as a child. Then have to deal with it later because now because it's been so long since the last time I've lost somebody I'm really dreading uh, the next one. I gotta say season 3 of this game at least the backgrounds actually look pretty good. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. Like they're visually appealing. I'm, I'm gonna give him that. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it! I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. You've been out on the road for the last two the and a half so years? We'll figure it out. Actually, no, it's, it should be do. more than two and a half years because of how old Clementine hey, is. I'm gonna I, I actually don't remember how many the time jumps eat. are in the are game. People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. I think this is about four years since the apocalypse. You really think we should be smoking? Because Clementine was like uh, Relax. eight or nine My in the first season, and in this season she's food. thirteen. I think we're in the clear. <coughs> you want some? Sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. <coughs> Don't judge me. <coughs> Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him, I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. Wait, she's not their mom? <laughs> Case in point. 
He was really How did I not realize that? I could tell he was worried about it. I always thought she was their he mom. Was or at change. least, like, I never realized that she was their <laughs> stepmom. And David had the kids me, before. You know? <laughs> I suppose it did. If it helps, I think you're doing a fine job. Yeah, it'd really help your case if you weren't waving a joint around while you said that. <laughs> what? How is this not a ringing endorsement? I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. Oh, they have a point. <laughs> but also, that just... is also one of the reasons why <sighs> not everybody should want to have kids. Because not everybody is good enough to have kids. <laughs> I'm joking. I wouldn't mind having <laughs> kids, but I will Christ. have them only when I'm... Uh, Look, I didn't sign up uh, for this only item. when I feel like I'm ready Sometimes to focus all my attention you. on that, which I don't know. I don't know that if it's deep, necessarily it? ever gonna happen. <laughs> uh, no, no, it didn't. Look, I love these kids, but I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty, hormones. <laughs> and it's always the excuse, isn't it? Oh yeah. The second you start getting boners. The whole world starts to get dark. Yeah. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. It's not a competition. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna pull over? I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. No, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Mm. Uh, what's that smell? Wheat. That's gross. We're, um... We're smoking wheat, Mario. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Huh. Oh, huh. Oh, my God. God, you're even smoking in the car now. All right, everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. Why do you think you're gonna find anything in a junkyard, though? Are you doing? You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? She said it. Uh, candy bar. A candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well. You gotta say, these cars. Some gas, <clears throat> most of these characters uh, in season three are actually pretty likable. Honestly, I, at this point, I really don't know what's the issue with Season 3. Why does it not work? Because a lot of it is not necessarily bad. Like, the backgrounds look pretty fucking good. Uh, the characters not so much, but the backgrounds look pretty good. The combat is more interesting, even though it's less interactive, I would say. Hey, where are you going? The characters are, for the most part, likable. Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Jesus. I just don't understand why it doesn't him. work, really. It just doesn't like feel that. like it has really as much depth, it. maybe. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. He takes after his dad. 
At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. So that I means I have to find you new batteries. Us. On it. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. Yeah. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Okay, now we got a scavenge. Yeah, and even the walking around that we have in this season feels more in line with season two, uh, season uh, four's uh, uh, open world style, you know? Just rotting bits of old rubber and tires. It really feels like the Telltale Walking Dead games evolve a lot with each season. Because no each watch. season feels different, and it looks different, and it plays different usually. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Uh, why do you need a pen? Or a pencil. Just something to write with. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. idea. Mariana. I've also started kind of doing that. Like nowadays, instead of uh, after watching like a movie or a TV show or whatever, uh, doing a review of it uh, afterwards or keeping my thoughts until I do the review, I instead write down things that I feel about the show or the movie or whatever I'm watching as I'm watching it in an old book. And it's honestly pretty fun because you can always look back and read what Most you've written very easily. Seats are gone. I was inspired to do that by the Blind Wave crew. They're a great reaction channel. In general, my uh, reactions on the channel are inspired by them. A lot of my content that I do, the different types of content, is inspired by different YouTubers, you know? My gaming videos, for example, uh, at okay. least the names for them, now I'm sorry is inspired that. by uh, Grey Steel Plays, who is a great YouTube channel we should definitely check out. He really makes uh, very entertaining videos. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. Well, don't get inside of it. And we'd be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful, we're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be oh, a last make sure it know. doesn't run out. A last tank of gas, last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Come on, walk to the side, goddammit. Good job, Javi. Okay, let's siphon it. Ugh, not much. 
much. But every bit helps. Okay, let's see what's next. I don't see why these cars, old junkyard cars, even have anything. Come to They've been Papa. here for god damn knows how, how many years. They were here before the zombie apocalypse, so that's at least four years. And I feel like the gas would probably be uh, over, I'll be done by more. now. Hey, Gabe. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I wanted to go away, but he won't. Well, try to figure out Just what causes your bad mood. I like being with That's what people. I do. Just we're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and it it ain't my last damn tape. <laughs> then we'll get sick of other people instead of each other. I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. Okay, let's siphon that, I guess. Bingo. You found a lot? Well, I guess not. Okay, let's go. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Yeah, just use the ladder. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Yeah. Some. Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Oh my god, are you doing this shit again? Season 3 is so damn glitchy. I never had issues like this uh, for season 1 and 2, but even yesterday when I was recording the first two episodes of season 3 originally, hey, look, I had so many when they never glitch pieces. issues, dude. It was constantly Good catch. Uh, stopping like that every time it transitioned from one scene to another. And it's so annoying. Still might be gas in the tank, though. <sighs> Shit. It's locked. Let's pry it open. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, this car is good to check because it definitely is likely to have actual fuel in it. Look at all that fuel. How do you know it's the fuel that you need? This is gonna take a while. Cause like there's gasoline. Uh there's uh uh there's diesel and there's uh, another one for which I don't know the word in English. Oh, shit. And the batter swings. And it's a strike. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Ok, 
Okay, let's check inside. Oh, it doesn't give me the option to do that, huh? Okay. Kind of was thinking of breezing through uh, some of the parts here, which doesn't really matter. Instead of trying to get inside through this, just go underneath. But it doesn't let me. Locked. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Maybe. Why don't you let Gabe get inside first and open the door for you? I'm surprised that shit is not locked. Gabe? Okay, so he does Don't open the door. Out. I was thinking because I know uh, later on the other characters also get inside that... How the hell did he get inside if he never unlocked the door? But I guess he does. No more those at least. Let's just be careful. Wow, this place is decked out. Let's look. Oh, it looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Eh. It's better than sleeping on a on the back seat of a car. Hey, it's batteries. <coughs> I almost choked myself, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, Good for us. In here to keep us going for a long time. Look at that glitched shadow of just a pudding in the air. Oh, check it out. This is actual, honest to God, pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blanket. Well, they're in here now, are they? And get on the road. Well, this place is kind of a dump. I mean, literally. And you forgot to mention super freaking weird. It's a lot of food to leave in a place like this. Well, nobody would have thought to look God, for it here. Night. So you it's not. Down, it's actually kind of smart. Meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. We have Why to keep we moving. Enjoy it? We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come it on. sucks, but that's life, Gabe. Get over it. Oh, guess what? Uh, now, <laughs> you can really drown us out. Yeah, but those batteries are not gonna last <laughs> for long. Thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Oh no, oh boy, sleeping in the van again? <laughs> All I'll say is you definitely owe me one. <laughs> yeah, well, you owe me like a dozen, so I'll just shave it off your tab. Hey, Kate, can you come help us with this? With what? <sighs> hey, uh, wait, but you... 
Why are you giving me this for? This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. Okay. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Why does it say it's yours? Go on, speak up! Well, it's not like I saw your name on it. Don't fucking test me, boy. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. How? How can you tell? I know you got people. No, uh -uh. I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Oh, yeah, that sounded uh -huh. very convincing there, I'm Javi. Alone. Yeah, sure you are. Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Fuck you, Lonnie. Hey, you assholes in there. I got your boy. You don't want him getting shot. You best come out. Man, there I actually kind of like the voice actor cast up. in this season. I mean, oh, it's always been first, good. Don't get me wrong. Get ambushed by your own but people, like, that shit's gonna I'm enjoying this game. season much more than I uh, thought I was. I was going to open it real slowly. Don't fuck around with me, boy. Good job, Harry. I knew you weren't alone. Fucking knew it. How that? How is that a proof? Now how come these are all open? I fucking ate them. You can't just take what you like. I ate all those. Yeah, me. Yeah, that sounded very convincing, you? there, Javier. By yourself? Now, yeah, now what can I say? I fucking love pudding. He's so nervous. Got a real smart mouth. He sounds you so nervous, watch dude. What you say. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. And you're full of piss. I ain't gonna be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I want to grab some cuffs. You got it. Hey, Lonnie. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. You have no idea who you're fucking with here. I think I'm fucking with somebody who's full of shit. Well, let's see well, whether man, you are full of shit. Have to go. The fuck was that noise? How the fuck should I know? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. I don't. Fuck! Guys, get the fuck in here! Holy shit! Shoot him! And shoot that motherfucker in particular. You have to pay for what you done here. Wait, 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 don't shoot! Don't worry, he was not gonna shoot, you're the main character. We're soon going to meet our second main character, though. I'm excited for that. <gasps> hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Asshole. Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. Oh, is that I'm so? I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. Eh, ah, she's gonna be fine. Maybe I'm lost a few teeth, but gonna she's gonna angry. be fine. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. 
Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. Ooh, we still I'm got so a terrified. Ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Come on, hubby. Get out of the car. Fuck you. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Please. It just... I need help. Not what it looks like to me. Looks like you can handle yourself just fine. Dun dun dun! It's meant. Clementine! Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. But how did you know that the truck was gonna come down this road? Oh, shit. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. <laughs> Look. I'm Let's give Clementine an apple. She's gonna oh, look so more okay of an asshole than she already is. This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. Come on, Clem, you help said him. you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. Deal. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. I guess Gabe and Mariana are not gonna have to sleep in the van anymore. This really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. That is smart. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Oh, she has the bruise on her cheek. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. Is that from when uh, the asshole at Carver's hit her, or is that from from the Wellington ending? talk fine but how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself for all I'd know you'd turn around and use it on me if you give me a weapon we can protect each other I give you a weapon I can't take my eyes off you at least this way I know what I'm up against
Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Shit. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all, They're fucking, all fucking walkers, walkers okay? okay? Look, I'm just... <laughs> oh, I love that part. I'm used to being around other people. And also, what do you mean, the ones that run? As far as I know, Not there's no runners in the comic book. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And anyway, I prefer it like that. I'm curious if that's what actually we're going to call the running zombies in the current Walking Dead TV show, though. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. By the magic of time jumps. Keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh... Well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner. Don't worry, Clem. You're gonna have one next season. You? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. Yeah. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They died. As they always do. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Lead the way. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. You know the place? I trust you, Clem. Don't make me regret this. Come on! God damn it. I pressed the bo button way too late. There. Get to the gate. Let's keep going. Go open up. Shit. Oh, it, they didn't open up. Open up. Oh shit. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Fuck you, discount Kenny. Come on, Javi. Good job, Clem. What a badass. Get your ass dude. inside. Come on now. Whoa. God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are going to close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. And when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. <laughs> It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty Honestly, quick. Honestly, I actually like Trip a lot. Just he's fast. a very good guy. So just bothers me that he down, essentially looks like Kenny, and he's kind of discount Kenny. Especially Too with the same anger issues that he tonight. has off later on. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. Alright. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's 
It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. I mean, they look pretty fine to me. At least the ones that we talked to Usually already. I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. Yeah, they're this gonna way. be fine. Don't worry. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. The plot... Uh... What was the word for it? Uh... Uh... Their, their plot armor is gonna protect them. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take Honestly, I feel like The Walking Dead does not really away. explore shit like what this as much as they should. Like post-apocalyptic... Uh, shit like this where people are actually living relatively normal lives it's kind of like a, the wild west but in a modern setting kind of thing like the only one who uh, the only thing that actually explored shit like this was fear the walking dead and that was in its og three seasons with the bazaar which is essentially the closest to this that we've seen in the walking dead universe and i want to see more of that honestly Chess. not really my game i think gabe used to play though Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. <gasps> Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? You want an autograph or something? <laughs> if I had a baseball, I'd take you up on it. But I'm fresh out. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Call. Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh hell yeah! Nice. Okay, she won. Oh, calm down. I was wondering whether the cards were still the, the same. Advice, they probably would be, but I'm still, I was wondering. Bottom was up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh shit. Clem, hey, what are you getting yourself you into? Deal, and it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? She doesn't need one. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Fuck you, asshole. Sit down, bitch. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? 
You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control. Shut man. the fuck up. This ain't no way to do business. <laughs> Had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. God damn, Clam. Right You've now. become very bro. That he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Wow, they really don't like her. Does she really have to shoot? Yeah. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Okay. Well, we just want to leave tomorrow. Are you real? As real as it gets. Now move it. We want to leave. We, we're fine leaving. Fucking up my bar. This guy deserves to die. I don't care. He was harming Clementine, so. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Thanks, I guess. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Okay, Mrs. Hello? Loner. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? <laughs> now, let's see about that wound. And do that flirting between the two. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Oh, they're so cute together. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. He deserved it. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? I already that they said were arguing, it. And then she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Yeah. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Well, they're not There's... dead. At least, as far as we know. If there's anything I can do to help, well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. But well, we weren't shitheads. On my terms and on my That guy was line. a shithead. We should just shot me? him. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Yeah, Trip, I definitely I like Trip right a lot. Wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Well, if he's the leader of the community, it kind of is. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate. 
down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Well, sure, anyway, but I wouldn't want to risk that. It. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. He's ready to help us, and he has some muscle, so I think it's better to go you with know, him. I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Trip. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guess I made the right call. I love Clem. I love seeing it's her grow be a while up before and that become a badass. Passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. And now, we're off. Hey, look, it's Wellington. Hey, what you draw in there, goofball? Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second. I'll figure it out. Is it me? <coughs> it is me. I knew it. Aw, so cute. Can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. Th there's a lot of them. Too many of them. I, I don't like the looks of it. How bad is bad? Pack your stuff and be ready to run bad. Man, I wish we got to see more of Edith. Gonna get ugly, I know it. You seem like an interesting character. And pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Also, I didn't expect that she was gonna be the one personally Please, taking care so of... Uh... We fucking begged you, man. Our people are sick and starving. It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Y'all are just hoarding it for your fucking selves. Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Come on, let's go. I got the hat, though. I got the goddamn hat. No! Fuck you! No! No! Oh God. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Oh my God. I see someone near the trees. Fucking shoot him. Oh, she got hit by a bullet. Jeez. there hey Clem yeah we're close I gotta Man, say Clem I looks hope your so people are safe good. and sound I love her so Eleanor much Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it oh yeah yes sir so that's what I'm gonna do 
Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. It looks like a damn mess. Shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? A dead zombie. Oh, you mean the cassette player? Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Yep, there Happy. she is. Oh my god. You're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Hell yeah, yeah she is. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. Damn, they wrecked. Who wrecked the van? Can't be the dead. No, no sign of them. Or maybe they, they broke the glasses, like this, but do you? Someplace else to hide. I guess maybe it's the it's the bad guys. Kate. Yeah, that truck in that has been in the junkyard for four years is definitely gonna start up when you try to start it up. Let's go, motherfucker. That was way too close. Javi, you found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Hell yeah, I am. Gross. Come on, I think we get a pass. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about Man, it. And as much as I, I don't we like dead. Gabe, even though I we're originally didn't never hate gonna him. See you again, Dad. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. Um, I do You're like his alive, uh, relationship so with his Kate. sister. So it's really nice to see. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Yeah, but it could still kill you. About it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? Clementine. She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? I don't know. Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. 
I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, you know? <laughs> yeah. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so you well. You just had to you say it. You no. your people. Didn't you? And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woohoo about. That's sure, all. Sure, but still, let's say woohoo when we know we're not gonna say wah we'll back to Prescott, afterwards. You still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. Neither have I. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but cool. Oh, shit. Thanks. Fuck. Mari. Dude, sometimes it's easy to forget how fucking brutal the Telltale Walking Dead games are. A kid just got shot in the head. I don't think the Walking Dead has shown anything, the TV show has shown anything remotely so. as gruesome and brutal. We can't leave her. Oh, shit. Good job, dumbass. Kate. Stop. Stop. You people are dumb and you deserve to die. Bobby, help. I'm going to kill some bastards for what they just did. Man, poor Mari. Oh, Man, I I really understand the feeling that you might be feeling at the moment. Just, you would re know, the feeling you're feeling that, is like you really want right to now. just rewind Katie's time at that moment and return to the moment before that shit happens. Go. You really, really want that. Got a window here, man. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you come with me. Nah, I'm killing them. Go, I'm killing them. We stay here and we finish this. Fuck yeah. Right. Fucking nuts. We gotta get the fuck out of here right now. We already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. I choose that. What? No, uh, Avi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Me, Javi. We have to end this now. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Shut up. Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I know how to shoot, Glenn. Already. Good job, Clem. Javi, don't! And that's the end, folks. Right? <sighs> Ties that bind, part one. Oh yeah, I think I read something that there's a way to actually fix so you can actually uh, get the choices again. Uh, because this doesn't, this uh, is showing like that and it's not showing you choices bec uh, because uh, because I think it ha doesn't have connection to the Telltale or whatever. I don't know. There's some way to fix it. So. You can guys, you guys can look around on the internet uh, to find information about that. So it's a shame that I can't see my choices and compare them. But hey, this game has been out for a long time and it switched companies or ownership to a different company. So it makes sense that it's not going to be working perfectly like that. But yeah, 
Um, honestly, this was pretty entertaining. Even though I'm playing it obviously for the second time in two days, um, it was still pretty entertaining. And originally when I played it during the first one, I was actually surprised by how much I was enjoying the episode. And I think it was because... Uh, the reason why I enjoyed it uh, so much was because for season 1 and 2, I've played them like two dozen times at the very least most likely because of how old they are at this point like the first season is 10 years old which is kind of crazy when you think about it um while season 3 was only released in 2017 and I played uh season 1 and 2 between uh, the release of season 2 and season 3 so I had the time to replay season 1 and 2 plenty of times well for season 3 the only time I act Actually, when it was released originally, I played the first two episodes, so that's one, but I didn't finish playing season 3 uh, in terms of like playing uh, episode 3, 4, and 5 because it wasn't entertaining enough to me. And because my uh, computer at the time, or should I say laptop, was a piece of shit and couldn't handle it. Um, I only played through the whole season myself. Uh, back when I started my YouTube channel in 2019 because I wanted my playthrough of Telltale's The Walking Dead to be the first videos on the channel and due to technical difficulties that didn't turn out really I only ended up uploading only the fourth uh, season episodes but I did play through uh, season 3 fully uh, during that time and I think that's why uh, this is actually so fun because I haven't uh, memorized all the little details and events that happened during the episode and it's that's why it's more entertaining, you know. But yeah, I am curious though, what do you guys think about uh, Season 3? Especially if you're watching me uh, play through it and maybe you agree that it's uh, more enjoyable than you thought. Because like I kind of have started to enjoy the visuals, at least for the backgrounds. I think the characters are still shit compared to Season 2 and Season 1. But the backgrounds, at least, are honestly much of an improvement. And the gameplay, I feel like it's kind of developing more towards what it is in Season 4. It's nowhere near uh, that, but it's kind of at least starting to go in that direction. So, that is interesting. But yeah, overall, personally, I actually enjoyed this quite a lot. And in terms of a rating for this episode, I'm honestly going to give it a solid 8.1 out of 10. I think it was a fine episode with decent amount of stuff happening and decent amount of choices and gameplay and everything and I enjoyed it um, but we'll see whether that's gonna hold up for the rest of the season in season 2 I already know uh, certain things I want to talk about when it comes to season 2 but you're gonna hear that in the next episode so yeah, uh, what did you guys think about this episode? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon. Omari Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me You have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time. I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account, where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy and I think this is pretty much it for this video so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one bye